you and welcome to this Jody's Food for Thought where today we're talking about gyms in Derby. Now this time of year a lot of people are asking me about gyms and exercise and where they should go, what they should do. So what I wanted to talk about today is the best gyms in Derby. Now I've got several different categories that I'm going to tell you about which is the best gym for you. Um, but the first of all and the most important one I really think for most people, if you're serious about continuing to go long term, it's got to be either very close to your house or en route to a place that you go every day. So it may be your commuter route, maybe it's via the train station or the bus or by your car, um, and you know, you're gonna stop there on your way to work or from work or wherever you go. Um, so that's the most important thing I believe, it's got to fit into your routine. So choose a gym um, that will is easily accessible, whether it be, as I said, be close to your house or whether it be um, somewhere where you go past. Welcome everybody to the live videos. I'd love to hear your questions and also your thoughts on what you think the best gym in Derby is. Helen, big hot eyes. Um, obviously I teach a lot of aqua, so a lot of people have been asking about aqua. So where are the best swimming pools in Derby? First of all, um, you know, without a doubt, for me, when I was a member, before I was instructing any of these clubs, I was a member of David Lloyd. I'm an aqua baby. I'm Aquarius. You know, I just love the water. And if you love the water like me, um, and you're serious about exercise, then David Lloyd is value for money. It's very, very expensive compared to the other clubs, but it's just the number one, because obviously you've got the big indoor pool, you've got the jacuzzis, indoor and out, you've got the steam rooms, um, but the outdoor pool is just an absolute winner. In the summer, you can lie around it, um, in the winter, you can lovely feel the steam in the cold winter air. Just, you know, I've got so many great memories of the outdoor pool and the outdoor jacuzzi. So for me, and if you're serious about going outdoor, um, there's not many other options either. It's actually the only option in Derby. Um, so I would really recommend David Lloyd. But as I said, you've got to, A, be able to get to it, and B, you've got to be somebody who's willing to go almost every day to make it worth the money. Because if you're gonna go once a week or once a month, that is not value for money. Um, and then second of all, if you are on a budget, uh, the cheapest pool in Derby, um, which I've just started teaching at, and I'm actually surprised how good it is, is Choices. So on Rainsway, opposite the big Rolls Royce, is the Choices Health Club, which had a lot of different names. Um, but the pool area is actually quite smooth. Um, I'm quite impressed with it. It's got the, the thing I look at a pool I really love, especially teaching, is natural light. You know, it's really important when you're swimming to have a little bit of natural light. A, so you don't feel like you're in a bunker. Um, but B, just holistically, it's obviously good to have some natural light when you're swimming. And it's got like little portholes in choices. So I really think that's cool. Um, value for money wise, it's actually only about 20, 25 pound if you get a good deal with them. Um, um, so by far, it's the cheapest of them all in Derby. Um, even the council pools, which is Queen's Leisure Pool, um, is about the same price. And to be honest, it's not as good quality as choices. So value for money, that's my favorite. Um, and then my second favorite is the one where I've worked at most, and that is, of course, DW. Now, the reason DW is so popular with a lot of people, even the people at the hospital recommend DW, because they have baby swimming there. Now, the reason baby swimming is so important is because they do the temperature of the water very high. It's between 31 and 33 degrees. So any of you that know anything about swimming pools, performance pools, which is for, you know, like performance swimming is between 25 and 27 degrees. So to go so high, for a lot of older people and people with mobility issues, you know, DW wins hands down in the whole of Derby. And as I said, a lot of doctors recommend people to go to DW because it's famous for being the hottest swimming pool officially in the whole of Derby. So if you're looking for a hot pool, 
you've only got one choice. <laughs> um, and then the other one, which is a leisure pool, so this is not a performance pool, uh, which I quite like teaching at as well, and it's the McLover Court Hotel. It's more of a, a smaller pool, um, and obviously quite a small gym as well. Um, a little bit more expensive there at McLover Court, but obviously you're paying for the quality clientele. Um, I'm not going to focus any more on that. So that is just my little overview if you're just looking for pools. Um, now, if you're looking for aqua classes, if you go on the amount of aqua classes in the daytime, then again, DW wins hands down. It's got a class every single day, guys. If you're free in the daytime and you're looking for lots of choices of aqua, DW is the winner because you have got so many options. Now, if you're looking to do aqua in the evening, I've just started one evening one at DW this week and there's no other. So DW is not your option. It goes back to choices because, again, choices have got a few options for evening aqua classes. Um, and, again, value for money, it's great. Even David Lloyd, even Nuffield, you know, the selection of evening classes and even the amount of daytime classes is very, very poor compared to the mid-range clubs that I've talked about there. So if you're looking for Aqua, it's got to be DW or Choices. Um, then next of all, just talking about gyms in uh, uh, generally in Derby, you've got three different options. You've got the budget gyms. You've got the mid-range gyms, and obviously then you've got the top range, which are really expensive, but you get all the facilities. So first of all, budget gyms. You've got um, the ones without parking in Derby City Centre. So you've got the city gym above the bus station. You've got pure gym, which is next to the old Woolworths, and exercise for less. So those are the three main gyms in Derby City Centre, uh, which are cheap you know, between 10 and 15 pounds, um, but you haven't got the parking. But again, if you live, uh, if you work or live by the city centre, uh, you don't need to park um, and you don't want to pool, you know, those gyms are actually great value for money. They're really, really awesome. Um, and when I've done a little tour around them, um, the amount of classes at Pure Gym is uh, really, really great. Um, and exercise for less is a little bit cheaper. And obviously, I started teaching at Gym City. Um, and it's a little bit out of the city. Um, and it is, I actually really liked it because it's a bit quieter as well than the other one. Pure Gym can be really, really busy. And obviously, if you do travel by public transport and you use buses, Gym City is spot on. You don't even have to, basically, you don't have to leave the building. You get off the bus and you're in the gym. <laughs> so for anybody who uses the bus, I definitely recommend that one. And the next one up, which are slightly more expensive, but they have got parking. Uh, there's the one at the top of Normanton Road, which is called The Gym. Um, I've heard a lot of people have left there to come to JD because of the parking situation. A lot of people, you know, they use LD in the evening. Sorry, Lidl. Um, and obviously the area itself, people are not too happy with the area. Um, so you go to JD. Um, now, the reason I love JD still is just, you know, the emphasis on group fitness there is massive. I've just taught there tonight. Um, just the lighting, the, how big it is. Um, I just love it. A lot of people have told me who are members at DW, they just don't like the idea of going in one of these massive gyms. So, again, if it scares you to go to a JD, uh, big gym, then JD maybe is not your thing. Um, and this is where DW uh, Choices have got a smaller studio, not, a not as much selection of classes, but again, you have got something that maybe you will feel more comfortable in. Um, and then on Ashbourne Road, also where I just started to teach last week, and that is Energy Fitness. Um, it has got parking um, a little bit out the front in the evening, and they've got their own little car park around the back. Um, and again, it's a lot smaller scale. It's the same style as JD, um, but again, it's got quite a small studio and a limited number of classes. So those are kind of the, the budget gyms. Now, second of all, you've got the mid-range gyms, which is DW, Choices, um, and then in the city centre, you've also got Anytime Fitness. Now, Anytime is perfect, perfect if you know what you're doing 
you just want a really small, quiet club. You've got your own little key fob. You let yourself in and out. You don't need to talk to anybody. And there's hardly anybody in there. So if that's your thing, you, do, you know what you're doing, then um, Anytime Fitness is perfect for you. They've got parking out the front there. You just use a little permit. So that's quite good. Uh, DW and Choices. Um, what I call these clubs is social clubs. So the members are really like interactive with each other. A lot of the budget gyms, especially JD, people go in there, do their thing and go home. There's not much chit chat. A, because there's no, re no room to stop and chit and chat. Um, but also it's the mentality, you know, it's like a fitness thing. People go there to do it. They go home. That's it. End of story. Where DW and Choices, you know, the members are generally a little bit older and they're just more social people. They've got a little cafe there and they can just chill out. So if you are looking for a place to be social, you know, maybe go as a group or make some new friends, then I would say that middle range of clubs, DW and Choices, are great. Then... We move on to the high end. So we're talking Nuffield, we're talking David Lloyd. Um, they're quite, price-wise, they're kind of the same. David Lloyd's a little bit more expensive. But facility-wise, remember I've worked at both of these. David Lloyd wins hands down. Just, um, you know, that equipment-wise, it's almost exactly the same. Classes-wise, uh, David Lloyd's got more. Um, and just... You know, the, the grandness of it all, easier to get to. As you know, the Pentagon Island is horrendous to get to, especially at peak times, um, which puts a lot of people off in the field. Uh, David Lloyd, although there is parking issues, Pride Park is generally quite accessible. Um, and then the social side, a little thing about David Lloyd. Remember, I was talking about social. If you're looking for social and money is not a question, David Lloyd is the no one place to chill out so much so a lot of people a lot of the members go to david lloyd and don't even work out they just go for a social chit chat use the restaurant use the free internet read the papers you know and just and it's just a really nice place you know sometimes when you're trying to lose weight you're trying to get into fitness you just want to be around like-minded people at just a nice clean place and for me, when I was losing weight, you know, David Lloyd, I used to just spend hours and hours in there because you just like, it was like your little haven, your little heaven for your health mission. Um, and I really do think David Lloyd is still the best place just to chill out before and after a workout. Or as I said, even if you just need a quiet space, they've got a little quiet room, by the way, as well, which is like sealed off. So if you get sick of the screaming kids near the play area, you can actually just chill out in the um, quiet zone, quiet adult zone. Um, and then the other thing as well about David Lloyd, you're obviously paying for the service. You've got really nice uh, girls on the desk there when you get in. Um, and just experience wise, if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend David Lloyd because it is the best when it comes to service and overall quality. However, you are talking a lot of money three, four times as much as some of the gyms. If you look at some of the budget gyms, which are 10 pounds, it's like nine or 10 times as much. So again, whatever your budget is. Now, the other option that you've got, remember, when you're talking about gyms, I'm showing you my little notes list, um, is community gyms. So I teach a class on a Thursday evening out in uh, Church Broughton, which is near my village of Hatton, where I'm from. Um, and now all over in church halls, community centers, there's Zumba, there's Pilates, the dance fit like I do, there's yoga. Um, and they're all pay as you go. So if you're not looking to uh, get into a contract with a gym, maybe you want to try exercise for the first time, um, then I would recommend going to community gym because you can try different groups fitness without committing to a contract however long term it's not good value for money i'm sorry to say guys pay as you go if you're in and out maybe you work shifts and stuff maybe that will be better for you um, but if you're looking to do three four five classes a week then um, definitely joining a big gym will save you money because you've got so much choice now we've got some questions here. Joe, looking good, Jody. Do not lose too much weight. Looking so fit now. Well done. Thank you very much, Joan. Um, I will be going down to my target weight with this, which is another couple of stones. So hopefully I won't start to look too gaunt. Kirsty, 
DW for sure. Um, Kirsty works at DW in Burton and Derby, and again, she kind of gets that great feeling that DW do give off. Um, as I said, the the biggest gyms for me in Derby are JD and DW. And as I said, if you're going for fitness only and you don't want to make friends, then it's JD. If you want to be friendly and social, then it's DW. Right, guys, that's it for me now. If you've got any other recommendations or you go to a different gym and you can recommend it, please feel free to comment. So I hope to see you soon. The The final message is just get active. Just try everything, guys, and find something you like. That's the key to it all. My name has been Jody Bunting. This is my Food for Thought, and you can catch up on my other Food for Thoughts at youtube.com forward slash Jody Bunting. Bye for now. Bye.